here in a Scottish estate or manor or it looks like a little castle. But we've been on our trip with Dewey and Mari Hyam. And Mari, can you just describe what, what is this place? This is the most incredible place I've ever been in to spend the night in. It's like, like I said, it's like a Scottish castle. What's the name of the place and, or what can you know about it? Well, it's called Alicing House and it's on the far west coast of Scotland. Um, it was built in 18, can you remember? 64. 1864 as a private dwelling, but I think it was for a long time it was an hotel. I, think, I believe they've had a lot of famous people staying here and they made uh, the film Local Hero with Burt Reynolds. Burt Lancaster. Burt Lancaster, sorry, Burt Lancaster. Um, uh, and uh, many of the actors and actresses stayed here. And the family who own it now uh, bought it some years ago and have it as a, I don't think they call it an hotel, but it's certainly a beautiful uh, guest house. Um, and, uh, and we're still in the Highlands. We're still in the Highlands of Scotland, yes. Yeah, so in Inverness, Shire, believe it or not, but we're a long way from Inverness. Yeah. We're still in Inverness Shire, the county of Inverness. Can you give us a little rundown? We began our journey, uh, Delway and Mari picked us up at uh, Heathrow, and then we drove from there to Inverness, and from there just kind of describe what we've done. Well, from Inverness, we spent, a, we spent some time in Inverness, visited some of my family, and uh, then then we set out to the Isle of Skye, driving along Loch Ness side. Having good weather all the way. We've had good weather all the yeah. way. Um, long Loch Ness side, <coughs> through Kintail, across the bridge, over the sea to Skye. We learnt the song over the oh, sea to Skye. Oh, that's beautiful, yeah. Skye boat song. Skye boat song. And then we spent three nights in Skye, visited different parts of Skye, and saw absolutely stunning scenery. Met some lovely people. Mm -hmm. um, we, met, we stayed with Christians in Skye. Had a good time of fellowship with them. Crossed over to Harris, where my mother is from, and saw the old family home. And uh, we then we saw the stunning west coast of Scotland, the be uh, west coast of Harris beaches. And from there we went down to North Uist and travelled all the length of North Uist, from Becula, South Uist, down to the end of Eriskay, where Prince Charlie landed in 1745, and then we crossed over from Sky again yesterday to come here. Yeah, in our journeys we've had a chance to meet some very special Christian people, and Dewey, one of the one of the men we met uh, was Maurice Roberts, uh, or Morris Roberts as you'd say in, in, in Scotland. Uh, tell us a little bit about Morris Roberts. Well, Morris Roberts, uh, uh, pastor in Air, and then a pastor in Inverness, it's a close uh, family friend of ours and a uh, faithful man, uh, had some trials she's gone through, but uh, uh, we find him a gentleman and a, and a good friend. And uh, we had some nice time with him. We had a great time with him, we had lunch with him, and you know, he was the editor of Banner of Truth, right? That's right, yeah, and written some books, uh, The Thought of God, uh, Thought of God, which is based on his editorials. Yeah, then one of the highlights, uh, we, we drove up to Stonerway uh, in the Isle of Lewis, and we ha happened to visit the grave site of A.W. Pink, who wrote The Sovereignty of God, and also the grave site of uh, the Ken famous pa Kenneth McCray. Ken Kenneth McCray, yeah. Yeah, and uh, now tell us a little bit about what's happened up on those islands. So there's been great revivals and great movings of God's spirit there. Tell yeah. us a little bit about that. Well, probably the most famous revival is the uh, 1958 with Duncan Campbell, but uh, there were greater revivals in the 30s and 40s, and the great uh, moves of the spirit across the islands. I think it started at the turn of the century when the missionary came over and uh, blessing came then. But the great revivals were the 1930s and 1940s, mm -hmm. and um, probably the most influenced part of the UK in, in recent revivals. Mm -hmm. That is, um, and a very blessed place, and, and 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 about the only place in the UK where you would find people who can still remember times of revival. And if I understand right, talking to you and your father over the years, uh, these areas up in the islands, uh, the the influence of the Christian message has been so strong that to this day, uh, there's still lingering effects of, of, of that revival. And yes, I, I, I would say that uh, some, of, some of the ministers bear fruit of that. The West Coast ministers were very special. And Mary and I often said, coming back from Scotland, uh, traveling back from seeing family, how is it there are more godly old people in Scotland than down south. And then we kind of worked it out, of course, the revivals. That's why mm -hmm. there are more godly pe old people 
and it's one of the missing things down south, and they're lovely, godly, elderly people, and of course they're product of the, of the blessing. Right, right. Mara, you said something that really, really touched me. When we visited the, your grandmother's uh, home uh, along the ocean there, uh, you said that when you would come to visit her, that all the families in the area would have, in the evening, their family devotions, they would sing the, the Psalter, the Scottish Psalms, and you said that from home to home you could hear the, the beautiful worship of all the different people singing. Because as you saw, the, the communities were very scattered. There were no streets and pavements and sidewalks. and um, So you would have a house here and then another half mile. But in the summertime, when people had the doors and the windows open, my mother always said that you could hear, like you said, family worship, people singing the Psalms. You could hear it from one house to the next because everybody had family worship. I remember my grandmother, even after my grandfather died, she conducted, as the head of the home, conducted family worship before they never went to bed. They called it the book. Having the book is how they, what they called it. Because mm -hmm. the book, the Lord's book, they would read it before going to bed every night. In a strange kind of way, we actually met because of the revivals. Because my dad went to Lewis uh, to visit Lewis because of the history of revivals. We meet the revival people and there the connection was made eventually with Mary's family that brought us together. Mm, that's right. So it's, it's true, because, actually. Because yeah. It's called the revivals and do it that we, we've, we've met. You guys met. And yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, we've been having a wonderful time. As I've been away, I've been praying for the folks at Berean. I'm thankful for your prayers here. And Debbie and Mari have made a, a wonderful trip for Mary and I. This is a, a trip of a lifetime. And we are deeply grateful for their friendship and for your kindness. Uh, in this week. We, we've enjoyed it. Can I just say, it's a pleasure, and they are so easy to please. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we have enjoyed it, I mean, so much. Great. And uh, yes, I just want to close here to say about these revivals that we've heard about, you've yeah. kind of tasted the, the fruits of it somewhat mm -hmm. after these many years. Uh, Mary's brother, Dale, who went to be with the Lord, used to say this, that as long as God is on the throne, revival is possible as the sun rising tomorrow morning. Uh, the Lord hasn't changed. And his heart beats for his people and for his glory. And we should be praying much for the nations on the earth and for our churches, for the tabernacle, for Berean, and, and believing God for great things in the years and days to come. But anyway, God bless everybody at Berean. I'm glad to be here with Debbie and Mari. And may the Lord be with us all. Amen. Amen.